have a question for you. I lift weights just about every day, and I notice every so often my hearing goes in and out when I lift a heavy weight. Is that normal? I don't know if that was temporary, whether I should be worried. So please, help. Well, Jerome joins us today. How are you? I'm doing well. So, Jerome, you work out a lot. Yes, I do. But you're having issues with your hearing. Yes, I do. And if you don't mind, let me show you. Let me spot you really quick. Okay, you can show everyone me. at home. Yeah, I want to make sure. You always want to have a spotter. I really don't want to drop I, this I'm not too. Me. I'm not too worried about this weight for you. Something tells me you lift and a lot I'll, more than okay. this. Okay, so He'll spot and I'll count reps for you. How's that? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so every so often, let's say I'm doing uh, triceps, right? I'm going down, going up, going down. Going nice, up. Nice and then technique. when I get up there, sometimes when, when I, I add weight or something, and I put it down like this, and I what happens? And I sit up, and it feels like my hearing is going in and out. How often does this happen? It happens every so often. It happens with the bench press, and it also happens here. Let me show you. When I have the dumbbells, and because what I do, I, I, I kind of squat a little like this, right? And then when I come up, like right now, I can feel that. What are you feeling when you said, I feel it? What are you feeling? Well, it's like pressure. I feel pressure in my head. And then when, again, those last reps, and you put it down, and all of a sudden, it feels like your hearing is kind of fading. So you out. actually feel like your hearing may be off a little bit after that happens. Correct. Any ringing in your ears? Any Slight. buzzing a little bit? Slight. How about any dizziness? Every so often. Well, you know, you know, clearly, I think what we're talking about, Jerome is using some pretty heavy weights in his workout. And we know that when you're straining, no matter what it is, whether it's weightlifting or something else, you are increasing pressure inside your head, your intracranial pressure, but also pressure inside your ear. So, Jerome, I'm going to go over to my big ear here and explain to you and our audience out there what's going on when you're increasing all this pressure. So, just to orient ourselves, external auditory canal, obviously the ear, eardrum here, this is your middle ear space. Beyond that is what we call the inner ear, the cochlea, the semicircular canals. So, number one, any increase in intracranial pressure can translate to an increase in pressure inside your hearing mechanism, your cochlea part of your inner ear, which can cause those hair cells and everything that's, that's involved with hearing to misfire. Number two, the increased pressure, again, in the cochlea, this thing that looks like a snail, we have a membrane that leads to the middle ear, the oval window, you actually, that membrane can weaken and you get a uh, perilymphistula. Perilymph is just the fluid that flows inside your inner ear. So all these big terms and stuff, but the bottom line is from all this straining that you've done, you may have something going on in there. So the first question, have you checked your hearing? I have not. See, so not that, I would do that. And yeah. you're 40 years old, obviously 40. in great shape, Thank you. but probably, you know, you need to start with a, a hearing test to make sure that you don't have uh, any degree of hearing loss. And then if in fact you do, they may work that up further to pinpoint if one of these things may be happening. And I think just as a very practical matter, you should do what Dr. Orton said, but as another practical matter, I, I would suggest dropping the weight a little bit at this stage because you do at some point in time, if this is continuously happening, have to worry about how much you're straining, how much you're increasing your intracranial pressure. And the fact is, the heavier the weights are, exactly. the you more know, you're pressure. straining. And if you're not breathing, because again, we all know to get a little extra oomph, sometimes you hold your breath. Right, exactly. So, and you've, yeah. you've probably been there where it's like, oh yeah, <laughs> been there. <laughs> it's, definitely, <laughs> it, it's definitely worth checking out your hearing. I think you need to do that. Most likely, you don't have one of these conditions in there. But I agree wholeheartedly with, with uh, Dr. Travis that you probably want to come down a little bit because as you age, you, you want to do less of that heavy, heavy straining. But do keep working out. All right, we'll do. Thank Very you. Good role model for folks. Thank Thanks, so Dr. Orton.